Welcome to Lessons of an EOS Implementer. I'm Steve Bannis, this is Dave Borland, and we are EOS Implementers. Today we're going to talk about how to solve a real issue in IDS. Dave, so many teams go round and round as they're trying to get to the heart of the matter. How do we suggest they do it? That's a great question, Steve. So how do we solve a real issue? So that round and round, typically you'll find that they're politicking, they're doing things, they're never actually solving anything, right? And so. IDS is the term that the EOS operating system, the entrepreneurial operating system uses. IDS, identify, discuss, and solve. The first one is identification. So Steve, you have the first issue statement. Somebody makes a blanket statement, right? Bob is lazy. Uh, the team asks clarifying questions. Uh, kind of clarifying questions. What, whom, why, what, tell me more. You know, that kind of thing, right? Uh, the third one, restate the issue. So in other words, once you've heard the clarifying questions, you'll get a sense for what the real issue might be. Somebody's got to restate the real issue, or is this the real issue? It's a question you'll ask. Um, this part in brackets, it says you've got to hear from everybody. Isn't that so important that you hear from everybody in this uh, section? Absolutely. How much time should people be spending on identifying? Oh, that's a great question. About 40% of your time that you give to solving an issue is in here. Just okay. identifying what the real issue is. And, and so once they do that, where do they go? Well, so once they agree that that's an issue they want to solve, they'll go to discuss. And discuss is all about um, your first thing. So you got the issue statement. Uh, you, you agree that that's the issue you want to solve. You get the potential solve statement. And what that looks like is here's an idea. Here's a, a potential solution for that. They explore that, test it, poke holes in it. Uh, somebody's got to be the naysayer, the devil's advocate, whatever. You know, do that pros and cons, no politicking, just as if that's the only solution to the issue. So they discuss that all the way to the end. What if somebody's got another idea? That's a great question. Restate the solve and then move on to repeat one through three. So in other words, have a second solve. Who else has a solve? And the key there is in brackets here, hear from everyone. So some people like to talk and they'll, they'll have their issue and they'll really just kind of speak louder. <laughs> some people <laughs> have those people. And sometimes you'll hear from, you want to hear from the quiet ones too. And they'll have great ideas as well. So, yeah, you know, yeah. as Pat Lencioni says, if you don't have a voice, if you can't get out what's inside you, you're not gonna buy in. So hearing from everyone really is important, isn't it? So we've gone through all of the various options what do we got to do now? So you've identified, you've discussed all the potential solves, right? That's what you said. And now we got to vote. Everyone votes. So if mm. everyone on your team votes. Now the key there is not kumbaya that everybody gets an equal vote per se. There's still a leader of the room, right? Mm -hmm. So the leader gets to pick. The leader's heard from everyone. As long as you've heard from everyone and you've really nailed down what the issues and the solves could potentially be, they'll be okay. Trust us on this one. Uh, leader will pick. And then, of course, if you're going to pick a solve, what is it? Let's record it crystal clear, a clarity on next steps, who, what, and when. We got to know exactly what we decided so everybody's on the same page. That's right. Mm -hmm. So this has been lessons of an EOS implementer on how to solve a real issue. If you have any further questions, please go to growexceptional.com.